Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic Course. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR net December 2019 and we are doing this problem 77 of your paper. It's a problem, it's a problem from linear algebra and it is of part C. So let us have a look. Which of the following statements regarding the quadratic form in three variables are true? So you have four options, let us read them. Any two quadratic form of rank 3 are isomorphic over R. All right. And the second one says any two quadratic form of rank 3 are isomorphic over C. All right. So we will see how we can solve these 1 and 2 and then we will talk about 3 and 4 later. All right. All right. So see these two theorems for you. This, this will do your part. All right two quadratic form of n variable are isomorphic over r if and only if they have same rank and same signature all right so question is saying that two quadratic form over r will be isomorphic to each other if and only if they have same rank and same signature your option one says that any two quadratic forms of rank 3 are isomorphic over r since this statement is incomplete, we, the question is not talking about the signature of the of the quadratic form. All right. And they are also working over the field R. That is why we can say that this uh, this statement has to be an incorrect statement. Are you getting my point? Finding out counter in the exam or in the, or at a home also is is little difficult in this case because isomorphism things are a little bit tricky to solve. All right. So that is why by using just this theorem because it's a theorem and theorem is mentioning that rank and signature has to be equal only then you, you will get two quadratic forms to be isomorphic. So all right. So because of this theorem, we can say because the statement of the theorem is not complete. That means there, there has to exist a counter for this one for which two quadratic forms having same rank are actually not isomorphic over R. All right. We can do counter examples also, but that will be a long process and uh, we don't have to care about that, that because we already know this theorem. All right. So now the see the second theorem, it says two quadratic forms each in n variable are isomorphic over C. All right. C is your field if and only if they have the same rank. So in the case of complex field, you can do that. That means even with the same rank, you will get two quadratic forms in n variable isomorphic. That means your first option is incorrect and second one is correct. Third one says there are exactly three non-zero quadratic forms of rank three up to isomorphism over C. What it means by that you have a field C. I will, I'm solving third option. You have a field C and question is saying there are exactly three non-zero quadratic forms of rank less than equal to three, which are up to isomorphism. Up to isomorphism means we are counting all those quadratic forms, which are not isomorphic to each other. All right. Let us say we have a collection of 10 element and we are saying that how many element in the set are up to isomorphic. It means that we have to find out all those elements which are uh, which are not isomorphic to each other. All right. So it may happen that only uh, that collection of 10 element has only one up to isomorphic element and all the other elements are isomorphic to one another. Are you getting my point or not? So this is what your question is saying that there are uh, all right. So we have infinitely many quadratic forms available to us with rank less than or equal to three, but how many of them are up to isomorphism over C. Now in the case of complex, you already know that two quadratic forms are isomorphic if and only if they have same rank. So rank if rank of your quadratic form is is equal to let us say you have Q and you have Q dash, you have two quadratic forms. So let us say if you have Q and Q dash two quadratic forms and their rank are equal, this means that Q is isomorphic to Q dash. According to this, I am talking about the field C. All right. 
that means the number of rank less than or equal to 3 will give us the total number of non isomorphic elements all right so now we see rank is less than or equal to 3 it means how many possibility do we have for rank rank of the uh, quadratic form can be 1 2 and 3 why not 0 because they are saying non zero quadratic form now because you have three ranks that means you will have how many non isomorphic element so up to isomorphic element will be element will be just three one two and three got it so the fourth statement is just opposite there are exactly three non-zero quadratic forms of rank two up to isomorphism over r and c so see what question is saying that there are exactly three non-zero quadratic forms of rank two all right so it is incorrect why it is incorrect because let let me write it properly all right so see this is what we can conclude from the theorem what theorem is saying that two quadratic forms will be isomorphic on c if and only if they have same rank it is already given to you that you have rank two and you are collecting up to isomorphic elements of uh, rank two all right but they are saying that these these three quadratic forms are is are up to isomorphism over r as well as on c but we know that on c uh, on C all those quadratic forms which has rank 2 will be isomorphic to each other that is why up to isomorphic over C will be 1 alright it cannot be 3 there are exactly 3 this is the mistake in the quiz problem so that means fourth one is incorrect so you have second and third correct and fourth one incorrect let us mark so if you have any doubt regarding this problem what you can do you can always ask in the comment section if you have any other problem you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups all right so links are given in the description part of the video from there you can join so thank you